Hello fellow players. Have you tried attaching a stabilizer to your tank's gun but don't know how? Or do you just don't know how to build a stabilizer in general? Well if so then you have came to the right place. In this tutorial I will show you how to attach a stabilizer to an already existing barrel and then explain a bit more on how they work at the end of the video. Anyways for the stabilizer you will need two old wheels, a lot of titanium, four pistons, enough materials to build another barrel, some plastic, two hinges and two butter blocks. But considering that you are trying to attach a stabilizer to an already built tank then you should already have the needed materials. But before we begin, for this tutorial the barrel will need to be outside of the tank attached to wheels that are then lowered into the tank using pistons. Anyways let's get to the tutorial. So first we need to copy the barrel upwards and then flip it around like so. Make sure that the middle of this titanium stick is the wheel the barrel is attached to, also it has to be longer than the barrel. Now we are going to copy it and flip it around. You should color the second barrel a different color, here I chose red. Make sure you make the second barrel collision off. Now we need to attach the wheels to hinges. Here I place down a switch that isn't mandatory but I highly recommend it. It's so when I place down new bindable blocks they auto bind to the switch. Later I'll delete the switch. Set the piston lengths to 10. Lower the plastic into the piston by 0.25 studs. Set these pistons to 10 as well. Now move these wheels inside the pistons by 0.25 studs. Now turn this top part collision off.
If you have a button that you use to lower the barrel into place then keybind the pistons to the same button. If you use a switch or other methods then just keybind it to that. Now you are going to need to place down a switch or a lever for the wheels. Before we do anything else we need to turn down the speed of the wheels and color these two parts in another color to test something a bit later. Now just a few things are left. First we need to add some plastic here so the piston stays on the wheel. Now we need to make this wider so the pistons here don't fall off. And the final thing is we need to add two butter blocks to lock the hinges. Once they are added we need to key bind them to a chair or a switch. These blocks need to be activated after the stabilizer and barrel are lowered into the tank. Now change these parts properties accordingly. And now we need to test something before we are finished. Save it and load it in. As you can see this is bad. The wheels shouldn't be spinning in the same direction. If your stabilizer's wheels are spinning like this and not like this then you don't have to turn on reverse spin on one of the wheels. Turn on reverse spin if you need to and make the speed of both wheels 50. Once that is done you can make the top part invisible. Now just don't forget to save and load it in. Here I'm setting up some rods to test it out. Now to actually use the stabilizer, set up your tank as you would normally and after that click the switch to turn on the wheels, once that is done press or click the switch to pop the butter blocks. And there you go. A working stabilizer, now you might be wondering how does it work? Well here I've built a small demo. Basically it uses this small one plane gyro to stabilize this wheel. We aren't actually stabilizing the barrel directly. Also if your barrel is made fully out of plastic then you don't need to counterbalance it. That is pretty much it. Anyways that will be it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it then consider joining my discord server. Link is in the description. If you want to see more content then please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.